says here you're supposed to read from right to left and from bottom to top. So it's wacky. That's what they're saying. Lounge to Lume before just trailhead meadows to Lume trailhead. Park National Yosemite enter to change charged fee entrance stay overnight for required permit wilderness to not use oh oh hello I was just doing a little light reading before heading to bed oh um well this is a little story for you two lovebirds uh now it's uh it's it's not your typical damsel in distress it's kind of a ballad okay um there's a hero who is pretty awesome and um so I can type this up for you. I can uh, send it out to you so you can put it on your Kindle or your Nook. You can, you know, do whatever for your reading pleasure. Maybe you want to read it later. Maybe you want to read it to the kids. I don't know. I don't know what you're, what you're feeling. But um, I just just thought that um, you'd like to hear it. So here we go. For your viewing pleasure, sit down, strap in, get that popcorn dialed, and here we go. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was a fair princess who lived in a castle similar to the Disney World castle. But she was not Cinderella. She was not Cinderella good looking. She was Belle Hot. Okay? You know, like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I'm talking Belle. Ba boom. But uh, Belle, of course, is, because of science, ten times hotter than Cinderella. But I digress. Back to the story. So, this fair princess dreamed of greatness, lived a luxurious life, and would uh, spend her days mostly having jam sessions in the courtyard in her in her rose garden, uh, where where she um, she had jam sessions with Katy Perry, and uh, little Rihanna, you know, a little dance, a little jam, boom, 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 boom. So one day, it was one of those cloudy days, you know, crappy day. I think it was a Wednesday. An evil event occurred. As a princess was amid her jam session, a giant bird came flying out of nowhere, blotted out the remaining sun, swooped in, and nabbed the princess from amid her jam session. The princess looked up and was like, oh my gosh, and passed out. It was crazy. It's okay. Nobody's judging you. It happens. Um, so she awoke later on a distant mountain with the sickest view of the landscape. It was pretty unbelievable. And she was just so awed by the, the look over the, the landscape that, no, she was sad. She didn't have Katy Perry to jam to. It was, it was really bad. She was sad. She was scared, and it was just not good. So the men of the town sent their bravest man to retrieve her, to slay this bird and save this beautiful princess so the bravest man was selected you know he wasn't the strongest he didn't have the most excellent bone structure but he could trek through anything and find anyone Ryan he paid very close attention to detail so off this man went named Jimmy Jimbo Joms J Gog Ham yep Whatever you really like. But it was a beautiful morning. Birds were everywhere. The sun was on its way up. It was something. Check out that sick sunset, bro. I mean, oh wait, that's a sunrise. And so he started his trek. He um, started at the base of the mountain and began his climb. He knew that the bird lived at the top of the mountain. He heard it was a fearsome bird with large talons. And, uh, but he had one thing on his mind. Save the princess, kill the bird, get home for dinner. That's three things, but it's okay. Uh, by the way, he likes salmon and broccoli and cornbread. 
but it has to be Atlantic salmon because Pacific salmon has bones in it, and that's not that good. Back to the story. Okay. It seemed like miles and miles he climbed. Nothing could phase him. Not even not an email ringer on his iPhone, nor millions of birds swooping all in, in from all over the place. He was going to save this princess. When he took his first break, he took a seat on this wooden floor, this place with wooden floors, and um, he ended up being approached by a cat. Now he's thinking, all right, we got cats here, cool. But this cat was no ordinary cat. He was meowing at Jim, and it was a little weird. But um, after listening for about a minute or so, the meowing turned into um, human words. It was crazy. It's like Shrek style. And so the cat was started talking to Jim. So Jim named him Steve. The cat was saying, hey, watch out ahead. There's a whole bunch of cats sitting in a group. And they may be cute and cuddly, but they have rabies and will probably pounce on you and bite you. So stay away. So Jim heeded his word. It was intense. What up, Steve? So Jim continued on his way. He passed the cats. He was over this. This is wacky. I'm trying to get to this princess. He continued up the mountain through these woods when he became, when he came across this town. And this town was no ordinary town. It had it had these paintings everywhere. These these paintings you'd think you'd only find in, in a foreign country. On the walls, on, on the back of trucks. And it was this giant peacock. And Jim just couldn't figure out why somebody would paint a giant peacock on the back of a truck, on the back of a wall. On somebody's right bicep like they were flexing so they'd be cool if they had a peacock just didn't make any sense to him so Jim found out that the name of the town was Peacockisburg and uh, had enough of this and proceeded on out because it was a little weird but he knew he was going in the right direction giant bird he's trying to get to a giant bird it made sense so he's getting closer to the princess so Jim passed the town he was done with Peacocksburg, and he was on his way up. He had to get to this princess. He was getting hungry. So, he continued up the mountain into the air until the air was just so crisp and so clean. And the, the snow began to fall in midair right in front of him. And finally, he rounded one more bend, nicknamed Avalanche Gulch. He looked up, and there it was, the lair of the peacock. And near the balcony, he could see the fair princess. But you know what? He still didn't even know her name. So he called out, Princess, princess, princess. What is your name? I have no idea what your name is, and I came all this way. Can you tell me it? Rome. What? What was that? Bro. Oh, my gosh. It was this loud screech. It blotted, it blotted out um, what the princess was yelling to him. It was this loud roar of the peacock, which came swooping down at Jimmy. He had no idea what to do. He could only think of one thing. And then there was blinding light. It was just pure white, blinding light. Nobody knew what happened. The peacock was shocked, went went blind, crashed straight into these trees, totally rolled over, down this hill, broke his neck, dead, boom, gone. Even the princess was blind. She had to like close her eyes, you know, and be like, oh my gosh. What the heck? Lo and behold, it was something spectacular. Jimmy had taken his shirt off, and his pasty white skin had blinded, blinded the peacock into crashing, blinded the princess, and it was just this unbelievable sight of a perfected farmer's tan. It just did the trick. It solved the problem. And so... Jim, Jim put his shirt back on, sprinted up the hill, grabbed the princess. I'll take you. I'll take care of you. What was that name again? And the princess goes, uh, it was Rosalie. And then she laid a big fat smooch right down on the old cheek. <clears throat> bing, bong, bing. Jim was freaking full of energy, not hungry anymore. Carried that princess all the way back down the hill. And got her right back to her jam sessions. And... You know, did a little jamming of himself. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. So, and that's how the story goes. So, 
if there's a Rosalie out there uh, who's watching this, or who has a friend who's watching this who could potentially tell Rosalie that she is a star of this movie, um, Rosalie, watch out. There's a giant peacock attempting to nab you. A simple Kung Fu Panda skadoosh move will solve any problems that you have with this peacock. Um, or some crazy model-esque um, farmer's tan white boy will come and save you if the peacock doesn't have you. That's just an FYI. I'm just throwing it out there. And that's it. The end. Later, kids.